Hello, my name is Oyelana Parks. I'm a senior from Omaha South Woo. Squad. And this poem is titled, They Were Human. They were human. She was a girl looking at life with like wide eyes and she thought she knew where she was going because that's what she thought. She didn't take in to everyone else's thoughts and interactions, their considerations, because apparently their advice mattered more than hers because she had to choose which side of the table she should sit on. She was light-skinned, she had to be black or she had to talk nice and be white because apparently you couldn't be both, even knowing she wasn't mixed and then he was still human. But apparently since his pants were just a little bit too low for their consideration, he had to be doing something on the corner so they had to think something opposite of what he was, didn't know that he was over here almost the first valedictorian in his family, first to go to college, first to do everything. But then again, he didn't make it to 18 because he was not their type of human. He wasn't the one that you could easily see and look at and know who they were. She wasn't the one that you could understand because they just wanted to understand. Put you in a box and ship you off to the next mailing station. Put you in a box and make sure that you figure out where you are going because you don't need to know who you're gonna be. They already figured that out for you. That's what school is meant for. They tell you, don't do this, don't look at that because that's not right for you. You can't do it. You're not gonna be good enough for that. You weren't born right to do that. So if you came from somewhere farther off where you have to live off of food stamps and Section 8 housing, then don't think about becoming a doctor or getting out of this high school without working at the McDonald's that's two blocks down from your school. They tell you that already, even if you have to do personal finance. Like, I already know this stuff, but apparently my skin's color doesn't say that. I know nothing, I know everything, nothing. I don't know what it means to be human, to be something else other than the freaking stereotypes that you put me on. The stereotype saying I can't do this, she can't do that, he will be nothing, that's why he's already gone. So you'll fill his desk with someone else, you'll move her into a different classroom because you can't understand her, you can't deal with her, you're a teacher, but you don't wanna teach the people that are beyond your knowledge. You don't want to help out the children who are still looking for you for answers because they have questions because they want to do something. That's why we ask questions so you can answer them. Or is that not why you're here? Are you not teaching us so that we can be the next generation to help you out? Will you not help me be the doctor to save your life? Will you not help him to be able to pull you over and give you a warning because he remembers you from five years back when he graduated? But then again, he didn't graduate. You filled his seat again, you filled her into another classroom because you couldn't understand that they were human, just a different human than what you encountered.